second paddle today. I've come to Exeter now, so it's a bit more of a walk. So just for a bit of a challenge, I've got pretty much everything in the bag, apart from the paddle, the main section of the pump, and Loti. So we're going to try and see if we can walk down to the launch with every, everything. No laughing, Oti. Yeah, at least you're carrying your own buoyancy aid. Well, we're going okay so far. Actually, it's not too heavy to get up onto my back. And once it's there, it's reasonably comfortable. Well, we got here. Time to get pumped up. And on the water. As I went to Recycle the Box earlier today, I found the instruction leaflet or sheet tucked in the edge of the box, which is quite useful. So, we'll try pumping up the base first this time. Again, with zero help from my trusty friend, it's taken very little time to get ready to head out. I've got my shoes tucked in under the back there because I've got to change into the wetsuit boots. The bag with the pump in, clipped onto bungees, and we're ready to go. This morning, Oti and I are away in the Peak District, and we're going to take the R2 out on the Chesterfield Canal. So, apparently there's not a lot of paddling in around here, but I've just met a lovely guy who said that one way is very picturesque, but has locks, and the other way is much easier to get in and out. So we're going to go the easy way first, see how we're doing. But this is how I've been travelling the R2 for the winter, or coming into winter, and it's working really well. So that's just a tub from the garden centre, folds up nicely in, and drains really well. Um, also takes Oti's yoga mat, the fin. And what I'm very excited about today is I'll be trying out a new seat. So we'll have a look at that later. I must say, she's sounding quite alarmingly creaky today as I'm pumping up. And um, I'm thinking that if I'm not going to use her for more than a week or so at home, I should probably unroll and let her sit flat in the garage maybe might work better. See actually this side's better even having just sat out for, for 10 minutes or so. But I still love the ease of getting her ready. This is the seat that I'm going to be playing with today. So I've played around with all sorts. I liked the ones that came with the Ittiwit, but obviously I had to sell them when I sold the kayak. I couldn't justify keeping the kayak just to keep the seat. Um, the one that came with this is perfectly adequate for the majority of people, no problem at all. But I do have back problems, joint pain, um, and mobility pain, so I was looking for something a bit more comfortable. And this came up, it's high backed, it's from Bluefin, with an inflatable seat. So I'm just gonna make sure it does actually fit in, and then we'll give it a go today if it does. Depth in the boat wise of the actual seat, it's looking similar, if not even slightly lower maybe, than the one I've got with memory foaming that I can't remember the name of right now, that I do really, really get on with, but is too hard for long paddles. And I'm really, really liking the height of this seat. It's gone in onto the clips really well. So yeah, this is looking really promising. I'll take the tags off and let's go and see what we think. Razor have also got these brilliant, brilliant dry bags in. They're so much bigger than anything else I've got. I will have to double check on the size, but I'm planning on doing some camping trips, hopefully next year with the kayak. What a perfect way to take my camping gear. Just as an experiment, that's my tent and my sleeping bag in the dry bag. And they fit really well. I'm not taking them with me today. But that shows there's going to be no problem at all. I'll pop a strap or a bungee across here, through here and onto here. And I'll easily be able to get two, one each way, in the back there. Ideal. I will say it's still an absolute pain to carry it on my own. And I do worry about damaging it. 
I might have to look at a set of wheels. I didn't like that much. Right, I think what I'll do is when I go back and get most of my stuff, I'll also bring the rucksack down. And although it's not particularly long distance, I'll use the rucksack to take it back afterwards. There's a lovely guy on YouTube who did a demo of how to get in a kayak. I'm going to try it today because I'm really struggling. And having tried out so many kayaks recently, not particularly this one, but the many I've tried, I've just lost my confidence a bit. Um, so we'll give it a go with his method of sort of sitting down next to it, one hand on the far side, feet in, and shimming your bum over. It leaves me feeling very vulnerable, but we'll see what happens. That method of getting in actually worked really, really well, particularly on a lovely high canal like this. This is quite a lot nearer the edge than ours would be. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that one again. The seat feels brilliant. The actual seat bottom needs to come forwards. I've let the back out to compensate but it's not quite ideal, but I think it's going to work really well. Hey, we've got fish jumping. I'll give you something to look at, OT. Right, let's go. This seat is going to work really, really well, particularly once I get it exactly where I want. And I still love this clock kayak. Look at how it glides. That's me doing nothing, and it just holds its line. Brilliant. Now, I was told this is the less picturesque way, but it looks pretty good to me. I could get away with a bit more air in this base. I didn't put too much in um, because I found with the itty with the ones it raised me too much. But actually, in this one is measured about right, so I will put a bit more in next time. Oh, isn't it lovely out here? I don't think people along here are so used to seeing a dog on a kayak. <laughs> There's not a lot more to say about the kayak, to be honest. It is what it is. It does exactly what I'm after. It's not going to be as pretty as some of the ones on the market. But I wasn't looking for pretty, I was looking for practical. And this really does do the job. This is exactly what life's about. Lazy days on the canal. As you can see, particularly on calm water, actually it's very chilled out up the front there. I wonder how often they end up with a horse swimming in the canal. Just looking at that yoga mat, I do need to get the spare piece I've got at home. Cut to fit this kayak. Hey, I've just had a really good shuffle around with the seat. I pulled myself forwards into the kayak. And actually it wasn't that the seat needed to go back as I thought, it needed to come forward to allow the back to tilt back a bit more. And now that is about spot on. There isn't enough air in the base though, so that's a lesson learnt. Obviously we're not messing around with locks. That's the kayak, back in its rucksack. Much easier place to take it back to the car, particularly through the narrow gates up there. That's the kayak back in the car. I recorded a final review with OT this morning when we finished paddling and lost it on the phone. So a quick sort of recap. Yes, I still love the Razor R2, as does OT. It does everything we want. The only thing I'm struggling with at all is carrying it on my own. But to be fair, all the similar kayaks I tried, I couldn't carry them on my own anyway but at least this one I can carry comfortably and happily in the rucksack. I'd have liked to take it on more challenging water before doing this sort of follow-up review, but I've taken it out eight, nine times now in a few different places, so I think I've sort of had a fair test and trial. I will take it out on rougher water. I was supposed to be going on to the Lake District, but to be honest, the weather's so bad, it's just not worth it this week. So I will get back to you when I've taken it on uh, sort of rougher water. But for now, nine paddles or so in. Yes, I still love the kayak. And having found that seat, the bluefin seat, I think we're on to a winner now. That is really comfortable. I'm happy. 
I've got the right kayak, the right seat. I'll be asking Father Christmas for a paddle. And I, yeah, I'm looking forward to so many more adventures with it. With those dry bags as well, we can get all packed. I've got a lovely little tent to go in. And yeah, plenty more adventures to come. I hope that's helped any of you considering in choices of kayak. I still highly recommend it. Take care, everyone, and see you all soon.